So, is it, is it bigger than you thought? Yeah, yeah it yeah. was really big. I, I thought it was realistically big. Yeah, and at first it looked like it was made out of stones until I touched it. Yeah, and what, what did it feel like? It felt, it felt a bit spiky. A bit spiky? Yeah. yeah, where it's welded together. That's exactly right, yeah. It was really big, bigger than I thought. Because I thought it was only... Smaller than it was supposed. Smaller than it was supposed to be. Like how it looks like now. Well, and, and do you think it's it? Rough and smooth, and I felt it. It's got a mixture, aren't it? It's rough and smooth. And what about the shininess? Do you think it's really shiny? Yeah. yeah. I had to like um, shade my eyes away, which it, and then I looked at it because it was so shiny. I think it. I think it was um, made to stick together by. Melting the spoons. That's it, so they've welded the spoons where the spiky little pieces are. Yeah, That's yeah. where they've joined the spoons together. Yeah. And how many spoons can you remember? Um, 40,000. 40,000, yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? And how many did you donate to it? Um, I donated like about 20. 20, brilliant. I donated, I think, 10. 10? I donated 30. I think I donated. Four, Brilliant. So what do you have your pudding with at home now? Um, my mum has bought more coffee spoons. Oh, right. So we just get the rubbish ones. You have more yeah. spoons. <laughs> That's brilliant. OK, well, I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your visit. Okay. Thank you very much. Say bye to the camera. Bye. Morning boys and girls. Morning. And Annie's our blacksmith, so she makes lots of metal things. Can you see on your right hand side? All the hooks and various things. So you know I'm showing some of the items, like the barbecue items and very, all that type of metals. Before you get onto that stage, you have to learn the basics, like make, how to make a hook. Annie's right past that stage, but she's going to show you how to make uh, a hook out of a nail. Good. Right. Nail. It's so very she... noisy, so I won't be able to answer oh. any questions or talk <laughs> until.
tell me what are those things that are hanging in front of the wa water? Those are those all the different. Well, those tongs there tongs. are all different sizes because we use all different sizes. So, anyone with any questions at all? Oh, look at that. Just one. Of those for you. What's your name? Lisa. What's your question? The fire gets to over a thousand degrees, so it's very, very hot. It's got to be really hot. To well, we're about, about 19 degrees now at the moment. Are there? 19. We're 19, we're 20 degrees now, and that's a thousand degrees. Yeah. So when you boil your water in your kettle, that's a hundred degrees. So 10 times more than Why do you need the fire? To heat up the metal. And it, you answer that. Why do we need the hot fire? You've got to have the fire to make it really, really hot. So when you put the metal in, it bends it. You can do anything then with the metal once it's really, really hot. With, with fire. Anyone know of volcanoes? You know, you know what a volcano is, don't you? Well, all that hot stuff that come out of volcano is like melted rock and various other things in there. But it's so hot, it can even melt rock. Well. Heat can actually melt metal as well. All these, if you put it in fire, it'll just melt. Okay? So that's how, really, uh, you can make various other metal things. Like, if you look behind you, you've got steel plates. Yeah, on the right, you see the brownish color. This company will make hawks and they'll make other things for the home and garden. Other companies will make things like cars, airplanes, ships. So there's lots and lots of com companies. And basically, you've got various countries around the world making things and we all buy and we all sell to each other and that's how all uh, how it all works okay?